Under cover of darkness and amid high security, the car carrying Manuel Noriega emerged from La Sante prison in Paris in the early hours of the morning and into the custody of police escorts. Media were kept well back from the vehicle carrying the former dictator as he was driven to Orly Airport for his flight to Central America. Originally sentenced to seven years by a French court, Noriega has served less than two. But another 20 years in jail await him in his homeland. At the airport itself, just his feet were visible as he was marched onto the aircraft and prepared for departure. Having already spent 22 years in prison and now aged 77, it seems almost inevitable that the former dictator will die behind bars. Recent images of him showed a frail, diminutive figure, a shadow of the man who had once held Panama in a ruthless grip. For decades, the CIA and U.S. State Department regarded him as a valuable intelligence asset. In the 1980s, Noriega helped funnel illegal American arms shipments to the Contra rebels fighting to overthrow Nicaragua's leftist government. A U.S. Senate investigation would later conclude that the CIA and other agencies had turned a blind eye to his corruption and drug dealing, even as he was emerging as a key player on behalf of Colombia's Medellin cartel. But by 1987, the U.S. regarded Noriega as a liability, and an alleged attack against several American citizens in Panama became the pretext to oust him militarily. As president, I have no higher obligation than to safeguard the lives of American citizens. And that is why I directed our armed forces to protect the lives of American citizens in Panama and to bring General Noriega to justice in the United States. In the U.S., he served 17 years of a 30-year jail term for drug trafficking and money laundering. And instead of being returned to Panama as he wished, in 2010, the Americans shipped Noriega to France to be jailed there for more money laundering charges. By now, Noriega had been weakened by numerous strokes, but he never gave up the hope of returning to Panama. His wish is about to be realized, but the welcome will not be a warm one. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera.